So, continuing on from the uh, tour of Karnak. So, Karnak is absolutely huge, guys, and there's so much to it. You could literally spend a couple of days here just exploring it, and there's still a whole other section that hasn't even been reconstructed yet or uh, fully preserved. God, I'm sweating, it's so hot. Um, one of the very interesting places, though, to visit if you are in Karnak, which is an, actually an extra uh, ticket. Like with a lot of places, the best things you have to pay extra for um, is this little temple here on the side, constructed during the Greek and Roman era of ancient Egypt. Um, the reason it's so interesting is because of some of the art that's inside. It's uh, in very high, high relief uh, with vivid colours. Now, that's quite unusual for a um, temple because most of the things that we see with the colours preserved are all on the ground in deep chambers buried on the rock. But this one is actually an open temple and let's have a look at it. So as you come in, you'll see this amazing colours here if we have a look at this. I'm going to raise you up, have a look around and you'll see the various details on all the figures with the colours and the cobras Again, most of the illustrations you see here on the walls are to do with uh, offerings to the god. We have a very famous story here of Cyrus. Um, you'll hear this over and over when you hear about how he was cut into 42 pieces and the wives tried to collect all the pieces back again because uh, she wanted to have a child but she couldn't find the 42nd part which was his uh, manhood which was eaten by a catfish so she made one out of clay and then transformed into a bird uh, to conceive a child with him and then he died and became god of the underworld so but the colours and the art here is amazing, guys. I'm going to raise you up again and look around. Let's head over to the second thing. see here is this particular illustration with the offering being made to the kind of god of art and it's quite interesting you know the guide was saying that uh, for a country or civilization to be truly advanced and stable they have to have an appreciation for art and culture um, and the fact that the ancient Egyptians had a dedicated figure to this showed their versatility um, and it kind of makes me wonder because, you know, when times start to get bad in our time now, I'm talking about the UK, for example, um, as soon as things start getting bad, what's the first things that get cut? Arts, aren't they? You know, the money gets withdrawn from uh, theatre, from uh, art projects, which starts to show a sign of that civilization or group of people retreating almost. Because when things are good, art is good. And it, and it is very important, it is a true sign of advancement in your civilization or peoples. And then now we're coming back into the iron chamber, which is uh, the most sacred of them all. Again, some amazing illustrations here at the top. I'm going to raise you up. So 
So there would have been a golden statue that would have been kept here, which the temple kind of got, it, got its power from. And they normally used to store these on the ground as well here. Um, in a big shaft, you will see these shafts to hide these statues. And uh, there was a kind of a ritual that they had to participate in once a year to kind of recharge this golden statue to give its um, energy to all these illustrations. So the illustrations obviously tell stories and events uh, or things that uh, they want to happen or have happened, etc. And um, to give life to them, they have to draw energy from the god or the statue of the god that will be in here. Uh, and that's how it worked basically. And there's a ceremony and a ritual to recharge a particular statue that gave life to these illustrations and stories. Very, very cool. Amazing, amazing. Oh, this area is a kind of a closed area. Yeah, it's really, really amazing. Wow. Look at this wall here where the door is. It's amazing. The colours and the vividness. This thing is several thousand years old. Look at that. Unbelievable. There we go.